welcome back to another video today. Today's video is going to be a story about the Wakandan Empire. I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe as I'll try to make this a fun video. Okay. Now let's me get into this. Izuku and Ava were walking. No, they were just in the Izuku's room talking about Wakanda and basically just watching movies and having fun about a good couple. Izuku gets a call from his father as he heads there with Ava but the but royal guards stop them as she is not allowed in. She acknowledges this and waits outside for Izuku. Izuku walks in as his father is talking. His father explains that now recently people try to take advantage of the fact people think that they are the poorest country in the world. Recently, they stoned people. This breaks Izuku as he screams that they should do something about it, saying that they should start a war against those countries. His father tries to calm him down, saying that there's hardly anything they can do. But this leads to the elders agreeing with Izuku, saying that they should start a war to back off any invaders from their country and to protect their vibranium. Izuku's siblings, Izuku's three older siblings agree with this, stating that if they do do this, it would help a lot to get rid of invaders and to try to empower their country so they can get rid of the the third world status. As the father listens to all this as he just stops him. They all stop as the father agrees. Now realizing that they really have to fight for their country. His father says that he will try and get in contact with the UN to see what they can do. Other than that, Izuku and Izuku and his siblings head to the borders of Wakanda as as this is happening, Izuku's oldest brother is telling everyone that a war is coming to get in their homes. As every home he has their security protocols put in place. <sighs> People are evacuated from the front, from the borders. Non-warriors are evacuated. As warriors r run to the front lines to for war. Izuku runs out of the room as he wraps Ava. Ava and Izuku run into his room as Izuku is telling her to stay here and he doesn't want her to get hurt. As Izuku grabs. Wait a minute, guys. As Izuku grabs a Kopesh sword, also known as an Egyptian sword. As he grabs a vibranium Kopesh, Izuku starts getting ready for war as Ava stops him. Ava looks into Izuku's eyes as she just hugs him, saying that she will never be not by his side, and that she will follow him into war. It doesn't really matter what happens, or what side they are on, be it the enemies, or against the allies. She will fight with Izuku. 
Izuku and Ayo put their heads together as they just show affection for one another. Izuku nods as they as they take weapons off of Izuku's room. <sighs> Izuku grabs a messiah shield, vibranium, a vibranium messiah shield, a vibranium spear, the vibranium kopesh, as well as some other things. Izuku wears his necklace which has a purple stone in it. They start running down the halls to, to get ready for war to get to the battlefield as Izuku's sister, Izumi, pops out saying that that Eva cannot go without this as she hands, she hands her a new vibranium white tiger suit. She thinks her as as Izumi just goes into the back to her portals. Ava then wears her new uniform as as she likes it, realizing the Wakandan design on it. She then runs with Izuku as they run to as they run to the front lines. Izuku runs out of the jungle as he sees warriors in front of him. Hundreds of them. Izuku makes his way as the warriors step aside for their prince. Izuku <sighs> Izuku walks keeps on walking as he walks to his siblings. He was about to walk to with Izuku when a warrior stops her saying that the royal family is in front. It doesn't matter what you are to them, you gotta stand by the warriors. Eva nodded as their father was in front of all. Everyone carrying weapons, their own weapons, spears, shields, swords, anything they can ha they have, ready for battle. All tribes were here, wanting to fight. Izuku looked in front as he could hear the sounds of tanks, people running with guns, as he just says, so primitive, father, these people will be easy for us, I know my son, but we have to keep the prince they were just defending ourselves. We cannot make it look like we're having the first attack. Father, they had the first attack. They stole our people. I know, but the news does not cover that. They only cover war. So, Border Tribe shields up. Suddenly, the Border Tribe raises their force fields as. As the armies of the enemy start shooting at them. Izuku has his Kopesh out and ready with his messiah shield. <sighs> the invaders run at the army noticing that Long range combat will be no use. The Black Panther, Izuku's father, shouts to throw the spears. 
as every warrior throws their vibranium spears in the air as it lands in front, it lands on top of the enemy, killing a lot of them down as they don't all make their target. Isuka notices a helicopter several miles into the sky as Izuku hits his father with his shield as Izuku is shot through the chest. Through the chest, right where this is here, where, right there. Suddenly, world guards pull up their shields as they defend Izuku. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Izuku is taken back to Wakanda as the warriors are holding up the fr the front line to make sure. <coughs> Sorry about that. Make sure they don't make advancements until the U.S. military arrives. Izungu is taken back to the medical room as they try to heal Izuku, who has an explosive round in his chest. Izuku won't be seen for later until later in the battle. Soon enough, the U.S. military arrives as they mowed down the remaining soldiers, enemy soldiers. They meet up with the Black Panther, who thanks them for saving their country. The U.S. military says that they will put an outpost here for protection. Uh, Okay, now we're going to the POV of these characters. Uh, that won't be needed. It seems we have stuck to the shadows for too long. It seems we have to change our way for one time only. What do you mean? We're making the Wakandan Empire. Well, to be honest, we can't do anything about that. We'll be here as allies for your fight. We supply weapons, food, and other supplies. Thank you. With that, news is told around the world about the Wakandan Empire. Who, who was, who become, who would, that have become because of conflict in Africa. Due to surrounding neighboring countries wanting to take over. The war is going on for several days as Wakandans strike back as they tear apart the land, conquering more, taking over more land. As the days go by. He's not really using their advanced weapons. Such. <coughs> such as aircraft. And other things. Soon. Izuku. <coughs> you now we're back to Izuku. God damn it. <coughs> <coughs> So that guys. So yeah, now back to Izuku. As his sister is working her hardest to heal Izuku, as their brother, as their their middle brother, is working to invent something for Izuku. He then takes the stone Izuku was born with. The stone he had in his hands the day he was born. As he researches about it, seeing that his high power levels gets an idea. He then makes a panther tooth. A, a metal shaped pan a panther fang panther tooth shaped 
device with the stone inside. He then opens Izuku's chest as he's working hardest to not kill Izuku. While while Izumi is working hardest to keep Izuku alive. He then connects the device to Izuku's spine as to his spine as uh, he then connects it to Izuku as as just like expected it starts healing Izuku but that's not it's not enough it, they call it but until now that would do until they can find a way to heal Izuku further What? So, this is what Izuku is going to be for, for a while. Here. Yes. Ava's taking this hard. Only, what he has right now is stabilizing him. Hmm. Maybe. He then walks away as... And Izumi comforts Ava. In Izumi's mind, he feels the stone surging through him. As this, as the stone connecting to him, the, the implant of the panther tooth is connecting, is healing him somewhat. Is Izuku wakes up for a bit as he puts his hand to his chest as he feels the panther a panther's heart, which is what the device is. If you're wondering, it's this device right here. It's basically a. It's an idea that a commenter gave me. He helped me a lot with this what if. I will leave it in the pinned comment below. Izuku is shocked by this as as he feels it, feels the power of the stone. The stone is connected to Izuku fully. Izuku could use a stone, but never can use it at his full potential. Now Izuku can. Eva looks up as she runs into the room and hugs Izuku. Izuku hugs Eva as he says that he's alright. Izumi walks in as she was crying as well. Izuku... He's glad to be back. Later on, Izuku meets up with their brother, T'Challa. T'Challa is named after their great, great, great uncle, grandfather. Oh, wait a minute, guys. My ear just... Okay. <sighs> so yeah. The Chala is named after their great great uncle. The Chala, the Black Panther. Izuku So the Chala walks in as he asks if, her, if everything is alright. He sees Izuku awake as he smiles. It's good. So the nanites are working their magic. Nanites? Yes. I could not connect you to the stone unless I was able to use nanites. 
Now nights were able to connect you connect your brain to the stone, connecting your whole body to the stone. And very much like our great great uncle, you can the suit is made of net the you have a panther suit made of nanites within the tooth. The tooth is called the panther's heart. Gives you life. With this, you can, you're now a conduit of your stone. And by my calculations, you could use it to your full extent. Never hurting you at all. Zoot takes a deep breath as the stone glows, breathing out as the stone dims. So it's connected to me. That's right. Well then, let's get back out there. No, you need a rest. But, please, Izuko. Please, Uzu. If I. Please. Eva whispers into Izuku's ear as Izuku nods. Fine, I'll wait. But when the swore for me. Izumi and the child nod as they run out to fight a battle. The child is working on something as Izumi opens a portal into battle. She runs in and uses her magic to the fen to take down several tanks. Soldier, soldier, the recondent warriors move in as they start killing off several other soldiers from the neighboring countries that decided to mess with Wakanda. Day. 56. Tragedy for Wakanda erupted. A missile was sent in the direction of the, el the eldest of the royal siblings, killing T'Chaka, the eldest brother. Named after their great-great-grandfather, King Chaka. Wakanda mourned for ten days. Not giving up hope. Never giving up the fight. Peop the enemy thought this would lead to Wakanda being too weak to fight. They thought wrong, as Wakanda, in their rage, made weapons of destruction. The Pouncer. The Pouncer is a big mecha suit that is used for war. That is what the Chala was working on. Izuku got the news. This devastated him. He lost a brother. Realizing that he's the one to survive. Yet, he was the one to survive. But, Wigan never knew he would survive. This brought people into war. To fight for their prince. To give lives for best. In to, repay it, to pay a debt. To bring their prince back. This time. The prince would never come back. As they mourn. In rage. As Wakanda. Surged with rage that day. As. It didn't stop whatever age they were. 
and it's safe that if they were younger than nine, they, they raged with war, bloodshed, and intent as they pushed countries back, taking over several of them, several of their neighboring countries. Day 100. It was the end of the war, the end of the Wakandan Empire. But it wasn't the end, but the battle was still going. Izuku and Ava were killing of the remnants of the soldiers that were fighting against Wakanda. As their warriors broke through the defenses, rushing in, flooding the gate, they killed off all remaining remnants of the terrorist. After that day, it was the end of the war. The Wakandan Empire took control of the neighboring countries and finally got peace in mind that the sacrifice of their eldest prince was not in vain. But where people were happy, there was also people who were sad. The royal family, especially. The royal family had to lose their son to a war. Suku was devastated as Ava just hugged him, hugged him, and held him close to her. Izuku decided to go to leave Wakanda for a while and head to Japan. Izuku and Eva gathered their things. Izuku got some money and other things. Izuku just was ready to leave. Izuku activated a, 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 a Talon Fang, Talon Fang, Royal Talon, Talon Fang ship. As they as say, Izuku got hold the Royal Talon. Talon Fang, yeah, I was gonna call for her now. Talon Fang as this is what Izuku could use. They load their things in as Izuku left the notes, and these gonna be gone for a while. Izuku and Ava were able to get War Dog. Wait a minute, guys. <laughs> They both got war dog tattoos as they left for Kanda. In Japan, in Japan, Izuku signed up for school and a job. Izuku bought a nice plot of land as they had a house built, Japanese style. They had a big garage where Izuku stored. The talent, the royal talent. F Wait a minute, guys. Izuku had the royal talent fighter inside, inside the garage, along with several other equipment. Izuku and Ava just rested peacefully. A few months later, Izuku got into school. As well as work to pay for food and other appliances. Izuku had the house built with the highest amount of tech. Tech from Wakanda. 
Zuku and Ava just rested peacefully away from war. It was away from the Empire, to be honest. They didn't, they just want to rest peacefully. Zuku wants to be a hero, and Ava wants to follow wherever Zuku goes to be. They just want to rest together. Zuko almost died that day. They, don't, they, to be honest, they never thought Zuko would ever be shot. Almost be dead. But they were able to. But now they can spend enough, so much time, however much time they want with each other. Just to be happy with each other. Maybe someday they go back to Wakanda. But they just wanted to be in Japan for a while. Zuko is now cuddling Ava as she sleeps with the totem on her neck. It, while Zuko had has the panther the panther's heart in his chest. As the stone glowed and dimmed with his heartbeat. No, just glowed and dimmed with his breathing. As Izu just cuddled her. Knowing just he'll be keep her safe. And he always keep her safe. Izu will make sure to provide food. And all the essentials with for Ava. Zuku loves Ava so much. He, she is his tigress. Well, he is her panther. They're fond for each other. They love each other. And that is it for today, guys. I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.